Well, much concern has been expressed about overextended health care workers and their well-being. Recently, nurses spoke out about longer shifts and the lack of overtime pay. While health officials also addressed that issue today, we spoke with Laurent Burrows, the Deputy Managing Director of the Public Hospitals Authority. What our system actually does is it reduces the number of nurses that are in play to provide coverage up to about 25%. We had a cadre of nurses who had been appointed to the PHA whose contract allowed for them to work eight-hour shifts. With the eight-hour shifts, it would not present the opportunity for the four-on-four-off shift to be in place, and therefore we would be in a position where we would have significant improvements in coverage. Once this matter was brought to our attention by the nurses' union, we reviewed it, and we've made a decision that for the time being that we will not move forward with this new eight-hour shift um, at night. Now, Burroughs further explained where the challenges come in. As a result of that, we will have some challenges in terms of providing the necessary coverage. Uh, we've also seen that the nurses' union, uh, some of the nurses have been calling in sick over the last week or so. And there are, as a result of that, we've had some challenges in terms of providing full coverage. We also note that we have attempted to eliminate the changes that would have been implemented over the last week. However, it would have created more disruption if we were to eliminate or reverse that during the course of this week. So we anticipate that this will be concluded uh, by the end of this work week, an effective Monday the 19th, we will go back to our normal schedule.